My name is Steve Coleman. I'm a saxophonist, musician, band leader, composer. My main activity is to create music mainly of a spontaneous nature, from a spontaneous impulse. When I work with my small ensemble, they're able to improvise also. They're all master improvisers. But I would say it's sort of like language, where each conversation is unique. When I do my compositions or when I improvise, there's always some kind of storyline going with it. It's not just technical music, you know, like rhythms and harmony and melody. I wanted to learn the, the dynamics and the syntax of how to tell a story. We go somewhere and play, and people hear something of this country in what we're playing, you know, even if it's not the most popular music of this country. My father was a, a Charlie Parker fanatic, and he had slipped some Charlie Parker records in my collection. I started with that. It didn't make any sense to me in the beginning, but little by little, something about it just, just got inside me, and, and I went from there. And then I started to learn about the music. I started hanging around older musicians who were from that generation. For the Armstrong, Parker, Coltrane continuum, that lineage, rhythm was the most important thing. You know, and I realized that earlier on. And so even as far back as the late 70s and the early 80s, I started working specifically on, on rhythmic stuff, and I still am. Thomas Goodman, he's not a musician, but I refer to him as a mentor because he's taught me a lot of things, you know. Mentoring is important because I know what I received from older um, people. And I feel like it's my responsibility to pass it on in some way. A lot of people think in bass is a style of music. We were using it as a sound, an idea, so that we would know what we were talking about, which was how to create music from our perspective today. I do workshops everywhere I go. I have a website, and we have instructional videos. We have thousands of members. We, we, we try to build a musical community where we share information. We tried to figure out a way that we could do it where we can be worldwide. World Wide Web, what better, you know, better, better way than that. I don't get grants and awards. So when they call, you know, I said, well, is this really y'all? People start laughing in the background. You can hear there's a bunch of people there. And they say, no, it's, you know, it's us. I was shocked. You don't expect things like that to happen. The support for creativity in this country is, is at an all-time low. So organizations like MacArthur, I mean, it's great for that. My thing is to involve other people. It should be about what are you going to do to make a contribution, you know, and, and this should allow you to be able to give back. Mm -hmm.